Hi everybody, right now we're going to discuss the GMT complication provided on some watches, how you set it and how it needs to be used. Very simple operation and once you get it the first time, you got it forever. A lot of people have a practical need to time more than just one single time zone on their watches and instead of reaching for your cell phone or looking things up on the computer, you can keep track of more than one time zone by buying a GMT watch. Now, the way a GMT operates is it's operating on a 24-hour schedule. So you'll notice right down here, obviously up here you have your 12 through 11, and that's going to give you your regular AM and PM 12-hour indications. That's your regular time of day. But when you start crossing over time zones where possibly you're looking at a time zone that's actually going to be the next day from where you are, that's why you need a 24-hour scale. So a proper GMT is always going to have a 24-hour scale listed on the dial. And with that, you're going to have this little guy right here. It's called your GMT hand. Now, all you need to do to properly set this is, in this case, you're going to pull the crown out one single click, and you're going to simply rotate your crown. In this particular movement, it's going to be in a counterclockwise direction. So you know if you need to offset by a certain amount of hours, you just set that up pointing to the 24-hour indications on your dial. And once you've done that and you've pushed in your crown and screwed it back down if applicable, it will then automatically keep track of both time zones at once. So you're going to have your time zone here and the other time zone there. Now, if you're actually using this for traveling, the easiest thing for you to do, and this is going to require you resetting the whole watch, but you've got to think about practicality. Let's say you live in LA and you're traveling to New York, going there for business. The most important time zone to you is going to be the time zone that you're in to make sure, I don't know, you get up in time, you get showered in time, you get to that meeting on time. So you're going to want to use the most prominent hand for the current time zone that you're going to be in. And that's going to be your large hour hand. You'll then set your GMT hand back down to your home time zone back home in LA. So that's going to be the simplest way for you to keep track of the proper time when you're visiting a different time zone. Otherwise, you can also use this as a very simple uh, AM, PM military time indication of your current time of day. So you can have this set if it's going to be AM, there is your 10 AM, and then as it goes around, it will keep track. There it is, 2 PM would be 1400 hours. So you have 2 PM there, 1400 hours there. So it's very simple. Now keep in mind, this runs on a, 20, a 12 hour format, this runs on a 24, so your hour hand will actually pass your GMT hand throughout the day because one is underdriven off of the other. So that's the easiest way to use your GMT, a couple of practical purposes in which you would need to do so, and that's why a GMT watch can be a very convenient feature for your everyday life. So that was a basic explanation of how you use your GMT complication, what your practical purposes might be, and how to set it properly.